moms that have me in more than one. Moms. Okay. Now let's see to the last example. We can find the word two babies. And we know two babies that have me in more than one. So what do we call the nouns that have me in more than one? Plural nouns. I repeat once more. Plural noun is the noun that have meant more than one. Do you understand? Yes, I understood. Okay, you are. What is plural noun? The nouns. The nouns that have meant. Okay, good. I want to tell you something. For your information, there are some ways of writing plural form. They are, firstly, by adding S for the normal nouns, such as pen, marker, book, etc. And by adding ES for the norm, for the, sorry, for the nouns ending in O. Example, hero to be heroes. And the last, by, by changing Y to IES, for the nouns ending in Y with a consonant before it. Example, lady to be ladies. Do you understand? Yes, I understood. Okay, you, what is the plural from pen? Yes. And good. We can use it this one. But we have to use both of them. I repeat once more. There are some <coughs> nouns that have not singular. Example, shoes. Why the shoes have not singular? Because we cannot use it just one. But we have to use both of them. Do you understand? Yes, understood. Singular noun is the nouns that have meant only one. And the plural noun is the nouns that have meant more than one. Example from singular noun is I have a book. A book is a singular noun. And the example from plural noun is I have three books. As we know, three books that have meant more than one. And that is a plural noun. Do you understand? Yes, I understood. Okay, now I want to read what I have written on the whiteboard. Listen to me well. Grammar, singular and plural noun. Sample. First, I have a book. Second, he has a cup. Third, Ahmad buys three bags. Fourth, Alpi has two babies. Conclusions. Singular noun is the noun that have meant only one. Plural noun is the noun that have meant more than one. There are some ways of writing plural form. They are by adding S for the normal noun. Example, pen to be pens. By adding ES for the noun ending in O. Example, hero to be heroes. By changing Y to IES for the nouns ending in Y with a consonant before it. Example, lady to be ladies. There are some nouns that have not singular. Example, shoes. And now, I will choose one of you to read what I have written on the whiteboard. Nobody speak. Nobody jokes. Listen to me and focus on me. The first question. Who knows what is singular noun? What is singular noun? Okay, you. Okay, good. Second question. Who can give me an example from singular noun? Okay, you. Okay, good. The next question. Who knows what is plural noun? Okay, you. Okay, good. Okay, until here, I think enough for our lesson today. 
How to you all study by heart the Bilezi and always pray to Allah. Thank you very much for your attention and last I say to you Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Wow.